So I wanted to make a quick recording on the project I've been working on. It's a low-code backend framework, and this code you see here is all you need to write to start your new backend projects. Um, so up to here, this is all you need. And when I run this, um, you actually do get um, your API endpoint on slash API and then an admin. So you get a free admin as well. So if I go to the admin um, here, so this is the admin. Great. So there we go. We have our admin. So just like Superbase or Fire, um, Superbase or Pocketbase, you can create a new collection. And let's say this collection is known as um, album. So you can have the title for the album. It's a string and it's required. We can have another field called description and another field called artists. Um, say it's required and maybe um, streams and say it's a number. So here I choose a number. Great. And then create the collection. So the name you give to the collection also also co corresponds to the endpoints that you use to query the um, this uh, let's say table. So let me open HTTP and when we go to our endpoint API slash albums. Okay, album. I should have named it albums and do a get we get all the stuff there we can also make a post so let's say the post the title of the album is hello and um, let's say hello that is a title and make a send oh there's an error here so I can send here it says required field artist so you see that we require the artist field so you get validation for free um, so artist I've forgotten what artist is supposed to be um, so it's an empty value let's say GR so great so we have our album title and then artist Great, so now when we come here and say refresh this, we have that data over here. Great. Um, now let's say we, we want songs as well. So we can have this songs. The title of the song is required. We add another field and say what album is it related to? So album is a relation and we can choose the album here it's required add field um, feature is a string not required um, and then create so now we have our songs endpoint also if we do a get here for our albums we are going to get all our albums with pagination included for free um, now we, when we check our songs, we have no songs. We can add a song now. So title here again, let's make a post. It says album is required. So album, but we need to know the ID of the album. So let me duplicate this tab, go to albums, album. and we get an id and then we can say album is this and now we've created our song so when we come here when we refresh we have our song and a related album so that is the cool thing let's say we wanted to get all our songs with the album um failed populated so we can say populate album 
So when you check this, you can see that the album failed is populated over here. The album, hello, GL. So this is it. Great. So that is the um, cool thing about this project. And all the code you had to write was this. This is it. Um, great. Now, another thing I would like to demo is something called hooks. So hooks provide a way to kind of add some functionality like validation or provide like filling default values before the stuff is created or before we find, before we get and all this kind of stuff. So let's say before anyone can create a song, the person should be authenticated. So we can say require auth and say create. When we are done, we save. When we try to create a song, so let's create a song. It's going to say unauthorized. That is because we didn't provide any um, any authorization here, right? I'm going to take this off and when we save and try again, you see that it's created. So when I go to the body, it creates. So um, hooks, hooks can be changed. So you can have like before creates, you can say you want to log the, dot, the data and see how it looks like before you patch. Um, you can say assign the song, the song that is being created to the authenticated user. So you kind of change it like this. So this is a wonderful way to, um, so this is just random, to kind of um, modularize how your back end work. Now these hooks can be extended. You can add more. This is actually basic stuff. You can add more from code. So here you can do app.hooksregistry. I think add or register and then you register a new hook here that can be used throughout your app nice um then you also get logs so as your endpoints are being accessed you can get a logs here when there are errors you see them here so so that's what i've been working on this project actually has a lot of work to be done and um, I'm still I'm still on it. Hopefully in a few weeks I could get a good and a stable version out. So follow me and subscribe to this channel to get like more updates. Thank you.